Welcome back to the 59th episode of the Sketchbook Heroes Amazing Podcast. With me, Ilias. And me, Robert. And together, we do something. Yeah. Every week. <laughs> <laughs> on repeat. On repeat. Every week. All right. So on this episode, uh, we're going to sort of answer a couple of questions. Yeah. Uh, and talk about sort of... Self-improvement? Self-improvement? Is art that, improvement? Yeah. Or... Finding oneself in art. No, I don't. No, 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 no. no. We're just going to talk about sort of... How to evolve. How to evolve as an artist. I don't know. We're going to call this episode something cool. Something cool. Something, something art. (laughs) That's that's the name of the episode. So with that said, (laughs) if you struggle with art, pretty much, we're going to sort of turn that into your advantage. Episode 59, something, something art. (laughs) <laughs> and I kicked the microphone. <laughs> that sounds like a cool song. All right. <laughs> Save us intro. <laughs> you know that riff? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Johnny Be Good. Mm-hmm. Of course. I listened to it Save like us intro. Five, five times today. Cool. So with that said, intro. Ain't nothing but a chicken wing. Catch we hero to go. <laughs> Artists of the world unite. Step out of your comfort zone into the danger zone. All right. So, we're back. Are we? We are. We are. And? We are, we are. <laughs> the keys of the nation. We because are. We, are. <laughs> we both have key problems. So, yes. we both have key problems. Yes, we do. So, this week, me and Robert met up without talking, like, beforehand, and sort of synced on what is fun this week. Do we have anything broken in our lives? And we both have key problems. So, so we have 99 problems and the, and the key keys are one. Or two. <laughs> or two, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so my keys are not working anymore. Like they've started sort of, I don't know what's happened, but they won't like work smoothly in our key logs. That's strange. So it's so strange, yeah. Uh, so my wife's upper key uh, doesn't work and my lower key doesn't work. So the other keys are fine. Like I have one that works for the top one and she has one that works for the bottom lock. So we can't really lock. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, it's strange. Uh, but then Robert told me that he had a <laughs> yeah. set of problems yes, yes, regarding I do. keys. Uh, well, obviously, I want to rent out my place now that I'm leaving just so I can uh, maybe get some extra moolah and that also <laughs> also have somebody just sort of stay there because I don't want my apartment to get lonely. Uh, but I can't rent it out until I get the extra set of keys that my ex has. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, this has been a big issue or not really big issue, but I've been wanting them back since like September and she's just refused to send them back. And she's like, the first time I asked for them, she said, no, I'm coming back this and this date. So you will get them, uh, before uh, you you go to Australia. And I was like, I don't care. I want them now because I needed to rent out my place in September, November because I was leaving in January. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, that that didn't happen. But then obviously I couldn't go anyway, so it was postponed till May and I still need my keys and I still haven't gotten them back. And now she was like, well, I'll give them to you next week, which is this week. So when you're listening to this, I'm betting, yeah, I'm yeah, totally no keys, betting no yeah. keys. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the fucking locks. Yeah. Fuck, fuck And that's it. why we're like going to end this on, all my exes live in, in Texas. Texas. <laughs> <laughs> Texas is a place I really long to be. Yeah, I, I don't know any more than all my exes live in Texas. I know. Yeah. 
That's why I hang my head in Tennessee. <laughs> we actually sang it at work the other day. Of course you did. Of course you did. It's a great song. You should all look it up. It's from GTA San Andreas. Yes. All my exes live in Texas. Man, that soundtrack was awesome. Dude, though. that song can still make my day. Like, I'm not into country, and that song is silly as fuck, but when you listen to it on a good day, <laughs> it just works, man. But th- seriously, I do... I have started liking country more and more because really? there's some really fucking golden gems in there no nah, dude like, i can't think of any song that is sort we of... have i think maybe 50 percent of the playlists that we use in the studio are with country music but it's more contemporary country okay it's not more rock but it's just the lyrics are so funny and awesome oh, okay okay yeah, but it's and also it's in context with like your buddies at yeah, work yeah, and yeah. everything so yeah because so, i wouldn't listen to this song if it wasn't with GTA, no, no, no. I, and I don't have these playlists yeah, yeah, yeah. anywhere else but the studio. But the studio, yeah. It's like the studio soundtrack. But don't you remember when you, when we were kids and we were playing Vice City at your place? Mm-hmm. Like, she's my Japanese girl. He's my Japanese girl. Yeah, I said she's my Japanese girl. I was like, they say, oh, you know, she male. Exactly. But it's fine. Yeah, and that soundtrack was fucking balls too. Yeah, that that soundtrack is actually way better than I think San Andreas. Like, San Andreas it has, was a, it had a wider variety of music in it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Whereas Vice City was sort of into it, the era, exactly. Because it was so good, you drew, drove around like. Fuck yeah! And then, and then, <laughs> and you were just like grr, grr, and through the window. It was a perfect killing soundtrack. <laughs> but it was so out of it. Like it was oh man. The Vice City killed. back in the day before you had like a hum of what good graphics was. Mm-hmm. It was amazing. Like the music went hand in hand with the like neon lights and everything. It was Beautiful. so good. Yeah, I, was... Well, I still remember. Like even the the GTA three was awesome. Yeah, dude, they were all good up until I think the fourth one sort of wrecked the soundtrack. They That's, had like one two songs. Yeah, that were like known, and mm-hmm. then like some super obscure like rest. Like the rest of it was just. Ugh. It's just too much now. But now I like I think you can use your own soundtrack and shit now as well. Mm-hmm. So you can like you have uh, you make your own playlist and you have that playing in your but car. But that doesn't feel right though. No. Like you know what I mean? GTA gave you sort of like this was the music of the era, especially the commercials. And they gave and stuff. you yeah, yeah. Oh, the that, commercialers. That's the best. Yeah, yeah. Those and they are still the have those, but it's just they're sort of few and far between, so yeah, they yeah, don't. Yeah. They were such a great narrative, but I like Laszlo from the radio yeah, show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In GTA Five, you get to beat his ass, which yeah, is pretty funny. That's, yeah, it's a good little sort of callback to. Yeah, uh, yeah, because yeah, I really games. like those things because we fucking remember. Douche. Yeah, yeah, because he's a fucking douche. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, ah, that's good stuff. So good derail. Yes. <laughs> All right. So with that said, we're jumping into it, mm-hmm. and I'm fixing the mic stand while you uh, continue. So yeah, I, like ten months ago, I posted a. Uh, I uh, post on Facebook, Instagram, and Facebook, and, Instagram, uh, and Instagram, like Sketchbook Heroes and my personal account. And I asked you guys, uh, what is your biggest struggle as an artist? And I got tons of replies, like a total of like six, seven hundred comments. Yeah, came uh, in. yeah, we we both posted we both, that one. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, because we posted it everywhere. Everywhere, and. And also, the one on Facebook got a lot of replies as well. And it just kept going. It kept going. So, this year, I asked it again only on my personal one. And I don't know. Like, I've tried replying to most of them. But they're in the 200-ish with, like, my own comments as well. So, I don't know how many are yours and how many are mine anymore. But, you o- know. Over 100, maybe. Like, oh, yeah. Definitely. Like, around 100. Because I didn't reply to all of them. Mm. And some of them are replies back as well. So, awesome. uh, but but a lot of replies, a lot of worries, a lot of new faces for me, mm-hmm. or like avatars or names, whatever. <laughs> new peeps. Yeah, and I I see like a pattern again with the same like the same thing as before, but I think it's a bit more focused on like people being insecure or not being good enough. You know, all those things. Yeah. Uh, like. If you're going to be an artist, it's, and especially if you're like in the beginning stages, there's a lot of shit that's going to come out of your left hand or right hand Mm -hmm. that's going to look shit. Oh, yeah. But you have to sort of, you can't only look towards like the, the end goal for this. 
You know, like you have to enjoy your time, you know, like until you get there. Yeah. And when you get there, your sort of like refined taste and sort of like an eye for quality will be so much higher. So the stuff you can produce by that time will not be good enough again. It's always going to look like yeah, shit you're always pretty much. Go- exactly. You're Or gonna- to you it is. But that's what I mean. Like mm-hmm. everyone else thinks it's fine. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's why I think people encourage you. Mm-hmm. And But but you are never going to be satisfied. And that is what makes you a better artist. So you have to sort of embrace that you don't like it. Yeah. Because sometimes when I personally draw, uh, I, I I don't I don't en- like I don't like the end result always. No. But I still enjoy the process. Mm-hmm. Like it might not be Instagram friendly in my opinion. But then slot on water. <laughs> <laughs> but then again, you know, like I enjoy the act of drawing. Yeah. And then if it's good or bad, it's like going to the gym. I like the the act of going to the gym, mm. like in doing the work. But it doesn't always, I don't always feel strong. I don't always perform at my best. I don't always break a new record. I've been training since I was, like at the gym, since I was 15 or 16 mm-hmm. at the gym, just lifting. And it doesn't like, some days, you know, they're just shit. Yeah. But I still sort of, when I leave the gym. You still feel good about it. I feel good about it. Been there. Yeah. But the, the, the session might not have felt the best compared no. to something else, you know, like yeah, uh, yeah. or another session. But that's that's a part of life, and that's a part of uh, becoming an artist and all this. I often get like, or I don't get the question that much, but we talk about it a lot. Uh, the people have like, it's almost like they've set a roof on. This is how good I'm gonna be, or like this is yeah. gonna be my style, and like people are trying to find their yeah. style all the time, but. In reality, you're never gonna find that style. Like, if you are an artist, you're gonna keep evolving constantly. Yeah. Uh, and just like we said, you know, you look at your stuff from a week ago, and it's gonna look like garbage because yeah. you're constant. You're just evolving so fast that your mind doesn't sort of keep up with you. Yeah. I guess. And um, yeah, so pretty much just stop putting that unnecessary pressure on yourself. Yeah. Because it's not worth it. You're gonna get there, you know. Some people learn really fast, and some people don't. Yeah, yeah. Some people like wait half their lives before they even start. Yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Some people like they draw all their life, but it's only at a certain point where they get serious yeah, when about like, it. It clicks. Yeah, when it clicks, mm-hmm. exactly. And they feel like, oh shit, I should just invest in drawing this or that, or you know, let's just focus on anatomy. And they obsess over it, and that's when they become good. And yeah. they might be like thirty. Exactly. You know, like when they realize that when life sort of snaps. Are you worried in any way of what the future is going to be like for up and coming artists? Like I'm thinking Mm -hmm. because of the whole social media pressure Mm -hmm. that people aren't going to think they're good because they don't they're not getting any likes. And that's going to be like the whole Maybe. sort of bar for Maybe. The, the future generation of artists. Maybe. I hope like that there will be some institution. Because what I don't like about social media is that it's all based on how our minds work. Okay. This is something we could have talked about last time as well. We can't talk but, about but, everything. But we man. can't talk about everything yet. We need because more it's... episodes. <laughs> uh, but, but, but something that worries me about social media, about Facebook, about Instagram is how they're really sort of like it's how much focus they take from us Mm -hmm. like we check our phones when we don't get messages we check our phones when we do get messages yeah we keep checking our goddamn phones Uh, and there there must be some reward system behind this you know like we know that like sort of has like a so sort of a like I, i don't value likes as much as i value sort of interaction yeah like when people it's write become to me more that for me as well i mean like i don't i don't see when i get likes I, i see likes when i go in you know like i don't care now i like i lift my eyebrows a bit if i get over 200 on a post because mm-hmm. that's it's beyond it's, your yeah it's sort of well it's sort of my my how would you say it like that's my normal Like the average. Yeah, your average is like around just 200, around 200. 200 But yeah. if I break 200 and go 230 or something, yeah, yeah, yeah. then it feels, I start feeling good. You mm-hmm. know, it's like, okay, so maybe more people saw this post or mm-hmm. I did something right. But that's that's yeah. about it. 
Can I, I still value yeah. the, the comments and interaction yeah, a lot yeah, more. Those I value a lot. And, those I can reply to immediately. And I must say thank you to the listeners that um, that that do this because it feels like you are starting to interact at least with me a little mm-hmm. bit more. I know you are interacting with Ilias a lot more because he is, a, or he used to be a lot more active. active. <laughs> uh, but uh, no, I really appreciate all the comments and. Uh, Really, just even writing, like, if I know that you're a listener and you write a comment, it just means the world to me. So uh, thank you guys for that, and uh, keep keep it up. I, uh, I'm i sorry that I don't, like, write a lot of the... And the blah, 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 blah. Yes, exactly yeah, that. Yeah. Exactly what I was thinking. I just really couldn't talk anymore. Uh, no, I'm sorry that I haven't been so active on the Sketchbook uh, Heroes hashtag. Oh, and that shit, I, haven't I haven't really either. gotten in to comment on your But posts. I follow the hashtag, so I like oh, yeah, anything I do that too. pops I, up. I like, yeah, I like everything the, that I pop, see. Yeah, same here. Uh, but uh, not all the time uh, I have time to comment. I cannot talk. Yeah. talk yes, because talky, talky, brain, talky brain, mushy mushy. But for those that don't know, you can follow <laughs> hashtags now. <laughs> or like Which is since a great a while thing. Back. Yeah, I like it as well. Especially if you follow like our hashtag isn't so big. So the fun thing about following a smaller hashtag is that you can interact with the people on it. And Robert is mucking with the mic that he told me. Why am I messing with it? Because it's, fucking, <laughs> it's a piece it of shit. I know. Down. God damn it. Yeah, you have to sort of like, dude, move it in, and then just. I told you, and that that mic guard, the mouth guard, is terrible on that one. It just keeps sliding down, you know, like eventually. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Uh, what the hell were we talking about? Oh yeah, the dopamine kicks and shit like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's like that's just why, the future of art. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, you said yeah. You talked about the future, and I'm I'm worried that if we don't do something about like a phone should be a tool, not a thing that causes joy. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it shouldn't be. You shouldn't uh, be dependent on. You shouldn't de- a device to be happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I know there are some studies that show that people that use their phone a lot are inclined to be more depressed but saying that we don't know if it's depressed people that find comfort in using their phones and becoming depressed out of that yeah or if they get depressed for using their phone you know what i mean like they might yeah, be depressed there before no... there is no proof or like they don't know because so, if you gave a happy person a telephone then he would be happy using his using telephone his, yeah exactly think... like so or or his they don't quality know. of life would be lowered and he would be depressed and there are nobody b- knows. B- nobody knows yeah and there are like if like when we a phone is a distraction especially if you're expecting something from it uh, so just i don't know like uh, like ignoring thing is apparently like just i'm, I'm gonna ignore if my phone rings mm-hmm. that's uh that's a will of effort yeah an effort of will that's what it's called <laughs> ah will, okay willy will uh, yeah. yeah. So you have to actively work to ignore something. You know yeah. what I mean. Yeah. Uh, so that makes it makes you distracted. That's so, why I don't so, have notifications so learning, on. Yeah. So learning and sort of like learning something and having the distraction or the the, the this the sort of like state of mind to ignore something will cause you to be distracted because yeah. you're focusing on blocking something out while you're focusing on taking something in. Yeah. And yeah, shit like that. But yeah, so I'm worried that if we get to sort of, if our happiness depends on our phones, that might take some of the, like... We're not going to be happy. Yeah, (laughs) exactly. Like, we have to put a limit to how much, like, tech companies can play with our minds. I don't know. But then again, I don't have all the facts. I don't have all the science. No. And we are the older generation now. Yeah. So, like... That's why I've taken down my activity pretty much as well. Like, I just feel that I don't want my phone to be my... Sort of, like, I don't want it to define my happiness for no. my art. And I feel like I'm missing so much now. Like, I, I can't keep in touch with what's happening in, uh, in like, social way? media or just uh, sort of the digital age overall. <laughs> oh, you're like, I'm, I'm okay. actually getting, feeling that old. Like, I feel like I'm 60. Yeah. And, like, these crazy kids, crazy kids r- r- and what are you doing with their tap snats yeah, and their snot snats <laughs> what happened to the magazine Where, <laughs> let me sprinkle and <laughs> throw something at your head and I can't do that with an iPhone or maybe I can I don't know why I got that I don't accent know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah that's, that's how I will no. be talking when I'm old yeah. mm-hmm. of course but yeah no I missed that age of getting up in the morning 
Like, well, I never read the fucking newspaper, but if I did... I used like, to on the train, gra- Yeah, but grabbing a cup of coffee, sitting at the table, reading, solving a crossword puzzle in the goddamn magazine. And Robert has never <laughs> solved a crossword puzzle. I have, though. I have. I do miss that. Yeah, Grandma Robert says hi. <laughs> or the Sudoku or whatever. <laughs> Sudoku. 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 Son Goku. Sudoku. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. 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 No, I miss actual magazines. No, like newspapers. That's the only, like, one of the best things about my phone is that I can have everything yeah. like that. Because, I, like, I enjoy print. I, I enjoy reading on the phone. But, no, but I don't read on the phone. I listen to audiobooks. <laughs> no, I mean reading stuff. Like, actually yeah. reading stuff. Yeah, but I hate reading in general. Yeah, like, I it do ta- too. Because I can't do anything else while doing it. Well, I'm, like, half dyslectic anyway, so. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I enjoy digital stuff. Like, the iPhone, if I didn't have it, Life would be so more like so much more complicated. Oh, fuck yeah. So I'm so happy that I can like I can pay my bills. I can yeah. I need it for all that every, stuff. Every my company stuff. Like yeah. if I didn't have my phone, fuck that shit. Like having go having like last time when I was starting my company, I went to the bank mm-hmm. and I just stood there like a moron for one and a half hours before I got any fucking help because yeah. some idiot was like dragging on with this fucking thing. Mm-hmm. And how I know is because he was loud and annoying. Um. So we Which were all people waiting. are in banks, I think. Why? It's a bank. Go in, do your business. I was in and out 10 minutes, yeah. like, for my errand. You know, banks don't even have cash anymore. Mm-hmm. It's just paper. It's... And I don't mean money. No. <laughs> it's it's insane. It's just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what's happened to this world? <laughs> Digital, bro. Bitcoin. No, just kidding. Uh, uh, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we were talking about something about... We were talking about your uh, little question to people. Yeah, uh, and, exactly. Uh, but what was the last thing we said about it? No, I went into the whole rant on the future of artists. Why? Social media. <laughs> like, I How feel, did we end up on social media? I feel like it will destroy... I don't think so. Uh, I think there is a change coming. There is a massive change coming. I really hope so. There is. Like with everything, dude, there's always like a blowback. But it's still like, and and obviously I only see a small percentage of everything that's being published because you can't see everything. But it just feels like everybody is creating to get likes and comments and followers, you know? Definitely. And that's the thing. That's what I mean. If people keep creating for that reason and that reason yeah, yeah, alone, alone, yeah, you're creating for. And others. if you're not getting the amount of followers that you want or yeah. that uh, the ones you look up to get, you're not going to get encouraged to keep on keeping on. <laughs> yeah, I was exactly. Yeah, I, the same yeah thing. I know. I, was just I know. <laughs> but yeah, no, you're not going to be encouraged to keep working on your craft. You're going to be discouraged because I'm not getting the likes, and then you're getting depressed, and then you're going to fuck this shit. You know. Mm-hmm. Or that's that's how my brain sort of sees this evolving, mm, and it's a bit yeah. scary for me to think. Okay, yeah. You know, but no, I don't know. I in, see it more nuanced than that. But on the other is... side of that, there's going to be the more traditional artist that's not going to be on social media that much. I think so. Mm-hmm. There might be like this m- sort of push and pull, or mm-hmm. uh, uh, how do you say it? Like the polar opposite of yeah, the yeah, yeah. social media generation. Yeah, maybe. 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 Yeah. So we might get some awesome stuff coming out of this, hopefully. No, I think social media will open more doors. But um, the thing is... In that sense, yes, obviously. That's why we I love social media. Oh, man. It depends. I think the next generation will tell that yeah. are born into iPhones mm-hmm. and Instagrams. But I don't know. For me, I feel that I'm controlling it. Like when I post now, as compared to before... Like, I'll be active with the people that reply in the beginning, mm-hmm. and then I'll just let it go. Yeah. Like, I, I don't check, like, if I get likes, I don't care about, like, I'm not going to check for the likes. No. Like, in the past, I would, like, go in, like, oh, did I get any likes, you know? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's going well, you know, like, yeah. I'm trying to sort of let that part go. I'm going to reply to the people that are sort of loyal or, you know, like, that, that take the leave time. leave a value, value yeah, exactly. the comment, I guess. Like, fantastic is great, but, you know... <laughs> No less than four words. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. If you learned anything on the last episode. No, but I, but I really, I'm going to take the time to talk to the people that support me. Yeah. Because it's always the same people. Like, yeah. not always the same, but it's like, a, let's say there's like 30, 40 people that actively like come and go, mm. you know, like they have a period where they Instagram a lot, they rep- like comment and then they go away and yeah. the other pair comes in. So I'm, then, I'm always like going to talk to them. 
Exactly that, yeah. like all of us. Uh, so that that's pretty much the investment I have mm. because I feel that when you go back too much into it, you get sort of like, like I don't know, you get like a craze. I don't know, man. It's like not worth the investment. No. And yeah, you should draw for yourself. Like if you first have, and foremost, yeah, always, always. passion. Like if yeah. you do it with passion, you're always going to sort of know what to do with your art. Yeah. Like do what you enjoy, and we're going to sort of talk about that more as we go on. But I think the main things about sort of like the questions that I got was a lot about time management and people being stuck at shitty jobs. And I told everyone, like, if you're in a position where you have limited time, and this means so much, or it's so different to everyone. Mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. there are people that work eight hours and that's all they have in a day. Yeah. And they say they don't have time. But they have time to play video games, <laughs> watch hang Netflix with friends, and... Netflix and chill. Yeah. And, you know, they stay up until, like, past midnight. And they don't have time to draw. That's, Those are assholes. That's fucking bullshit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. And then you have people, you know, that, that have families that have, you know, like, eight-hour job. They have kids have activities, all that stuff. Still a lot of things. Not impossible. I'm no, not saying that not. it's going to be great. Like, I don't enjoy sometimes just drawing for 30 seconds and then like, oh, interruption. Like, I don't enjoy that. And sometimes I don't draw because of that. But that's my choice. You see what I mean? Like, it's yeah, not, yeah, yeah. it doesn't, like, I could have drawn. I could have drawn. I can do a lot in 30 minutes. But you need to feel like you want to do it as well. I mean, I think there yeah, are other times I mean, you can feel it, but if you always have to feel it and be motivated, because that's another big one, mm -hmm. motivation and motivation is a mistress that she doesn't give a fuck about you, son. She oh, comes yeah. and goes on her own, sort of. Yeah, she does. <laughs> Lucid um, mistress. But yeah, yeah. you were going to say feel it. Yeah, no, it's more just like it's you shouldn't like be pushing yourself if you're not feeling it pretty much. Don't agree. <laughs> because I mean if you want to be good at something yes yeah. you have to push yourself yeah. but there's a limit to that because you could push yourself to the point where you d hate it where you fucking hate it yeah. and then you've wasted all this talent or whatever you want to do don't say talent <laughs> I mean the gift art <laughs> <laughs> no. the gift from God <laughs> the gift from God yes exactly yes That's our Lord Savior our Lord he, Savior he blessed you with this Jesus art uh, <laughs> no art but that's that's my point of view, obviously, and I. But it's because I've become more sort of hippie. Yes, definitely more hippie. But I've become more in like I don't have to do it all the time. You know, um, if I don't feel like doing it, I'm not going to do it. Yeah, same that way. sort of way. I can't explain how like mm -hmm. the word for that, but slacker. Not, not giving a fuck. Yes, a slacker, <laughs> stoner, <laughs> just stoner, words. stoner and slacker, and hippie, <laughs> no. all of that, all that. Yeah, no, it's just like if I don't feel like drawing, I'm not gonna draw, and yeah, I don't dude. put pressure on myself yeah. for not for drawing not anymore drawing or feeling bad about yeah. it. Yeah, but just rewind like a year, and I had that pressure. Mm -hmm. It was always I have to like produce but that, more. But and I more. think that was Instagram. Yeah, like I think we both probably, were feeling it. Yeah. but like, it was going that, better that and then yeah, because yeah, we were more active and shit. Sure. But then we came to the whole tipping point of that. But what happened? Yeah, yeah. exactly. At the so end you of the year, you were like, fuck. Nothing. Yeah. And that's the thing. Again, it's like you work for the Ferrari you've dreamt about all your life. And then mm. when you finally get it, it's just your car. It's just a car, yeah. And then what do you want from there on? You know? Yeah, exactly. That's what Instagram is. You're like, oh, I want to get more followers. You keep getting more followers. You're yeah. not going to be satisfied. No. You're trying to fill a hole that's never going to close. Mm -hmm. I don't know which or movie that think? was from. Like, I don't know. Yeah, Hellboy 2, I think. Like, they talk in, in the beginning of the movie. They trying to think back. Yeah. It's uh, the story of Prince Nuada and uh, the, the crown with the Golden Army. I actually like the second one better now than the first one. After I, seeing I, it. I, I, I love them both. Yeah, I, I enjoy them both, but they're terrible, dude. Like, I'm really looking forward to the new one yes. with uh, Hopper. Hopper, from, yeah. Uh, uh, Stranger Things, um, but yeah, no, they they tell the story about mm -hmm. Prince Nuada and stuff, and they say that man was created with a hole uh, uh, and like a thirst yeah, for yeah, yeah. stuff that, that would never be filled, like impossible to fill, mm -hmm. and it's so true because we are we yeah. just keep consuming yeah, more yeah, yeah. and more. There's always like if it's not stuff, it's that's why I actually checked the minimalists on 
Are you, the you, on Netflix. Yeah, I oh, checked did. that one. I, I didn't like it, but I, I like the the idea of it. But I don't was like it the, the like the thing that you're book. only supposed to own about that amount of clothing. No, it and wasn't stuff. an amount. No? It was just you. You keep the stuff that make you happy. Does this make me happy? Then you get rid of it if it doesn't. Like, even if you feel like I want to keep this, like for what reason does it make you happy? Like, no, then get exactly. rid of it. It it is super easy. It is. It isn't harder than that. But like, but what they say, sort of like everyone is a minimalist in their own way, sort yeah, of like. Yeah. So you you could have you know, how many objects you want, mm. but the question was. Do they make you happy? And I could live by that. Like I could totally live by that. I have so yeah. much shit. I would just throw it away. Yeah. And I would just keep my art supplies because they they give me true joy. Yeah. Like bringing out a new old pen. You know, just discovering your shit again. Yeah. Finding something. Yeah, that you haven't used in a couple in a of years. Couple of years. Just because it wasn't like you can't keep it like up front. No. Like you can't have it being available all the time. And you're like, oh shit! When I used this last time, and then you have some new and, shit. Yeah, and you get the flashbacks yeah. from what you drew with that. And shit. Exactly. Yeah. Or you just bring out a pen that you couldn't use, like you bought it, and you were like, oh, this is gonna be. And then you just like, no, it, it was doesn't... too advanced at it that was... time. Yeah, exactly. Like, or something. something like that. And then you use it, and you're like, fuck, this is my new thing. And like those, uh, the pilot, the flat ones, the parallel ones that I mm -hmm. drew trees with. Mm -hmm. Like I've had those in the past, like flat nib, like sort of like uh, what do you call them, calligraphy pens. Yeah, yeah. Never been able to do shit with them, and then now I started drawing my trees. Yeah, something just popped, and then it just clicked. clicked into place. <laughs> yeah, and I was just like, I have three different ones or two different ones. Sorry, and they're awesome. One is like super wide, and one is the smaller one. You know, nice. Like, they're so much fun. Like those pens were like the joy of the end of two thousand or October or what mm -hmm, the fuck mm -hmm. we were doing. Uh, so there are like that's a joy to me but then you know we have so much stuff with the kids and everything it doesn't bring me like going to Ikea and buying you know like a new st thing to store shit in that doesn't make me happy that makes no. me sad yeah, that we here. have more like every time we need to buy stuff like that makes me sad and you never go to Ikea and just buy that one thing It's no, always it's like, always like a bunch of shit and so much unnecessary shit. And that's I don't enjoy that. I've told my wife like I don't mm -hmm. enjoy buying sort of like furniture for like having at the outside in the yard. I don't enjoy like you know like I want less stuff. Like if we could get rid of stuff, that would mm -hmm. make me happy. There's nothing more enjoyable than when I go through my shit and I throw things. That's that makes me feel good. Yeah. I I rid. got rid of half of my clothes and gave it to charity. Yeah, but that's, that's like, awesome. You don't like, need it all. Yeah, it really didn't. Like, yeah, there's so much shit, like brand new shirts. Yeah. That you never should. fucking used. Yeah. So unnecessary. You I just did the buy same. shit I to just buy cleaned shit. Out, dude. And I always throw away half. Like, yeah, I have total. like a set of clothes. Like, let's say I have like 10 t shirts that I sort of, some of them look the same. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, these same are just here. like, I have like four of these. Same here. And then not, I go not through. Same of those, no, 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 no. <laughs> but I mean, like, but I have I like one of those. I have like three of these or four of these white ones, simple plain T-shirt. Mm. I have two black ones, and then I have some with print on. I think I have that. I sort of go through. I think I have a plain white T-shirt for every day of the week <laughs> because that <laughs> that was like them, yeah. yeah, that was my look. Like a white T-shirt, black jeans, white shoes, Your tattoo clothes, my tattoo clothes. Uh, And then it was just like I I need to I wanted to feel fresh, mm -hmm. so I prefer to buy a new white T-shirt than just wash the old ones. <laughs> <laughs> stupid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is extremely <laughs> stupid. Uh, but now I don't need to buy any more fucking T-shirts. Yeah, I am set for life. I think. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> so like I know exactly what I'm bringing with me to Australia. Yeah. I have it all like planned. Uh, I'm gonna have so little weight in my yeah. bag, like for reals. It's gonna be mostly, yeah, a couple of t-shirts, a pair of shorts, a mm -hmm. pair of jeans, and an extra pair of shoes because I want to alternate. Awesome. Yeah, that's pretty much it, dude. When we went to Dubai for five days with work, mm -hmm. I had a backpack for five days. I had a that's backpack for need. Thailand, ten days. But I mean, like, you don't need anything. That's, no, that's the thing. I didn't like, even use all my shit. Yeah, like I bring underwear and socks. Yeah, like that's all you need. That's all you need, and the rest you can sort of like work with you know like it's so simple like yeah. you think you're gonna need more than you do and if you actually need more then you can just buy a new t-shirt pretty yeah. much but, worst case but so yeah. so yeah i would totally love to go minimalistic on life but mm -hmm. it's hard with 
because I'm the only one in my family that wants to get rid of shit. Yeah. I'm going to start getting rid of shit now because of the whole moving out of the place. Mm -hmm. So a lot of stuff is going to go back to my parents and a lot of stuff in storage. But also a lot of stuff is just going to go. Yeah. Uh, I'll see if I can sell off any stuff, but probably not. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, we'll see. It's going to be very exciting to clear out the fucking place. Dude, when I moved from my old apartment, mm -hmm. I threw away all of it. Maria was like, what? But I threw but away But you don't fucking everything. need it. It's yeah. in storage for a reason. You're not going to pick it out again. Dude, most of my stuff, when I lived alone in Zumbibari, yeah. after me and Delina broke up, mm -hmm. and all my stuff was sort of in boxes, remember? Yeah. Like, they were all in corners, in boxes. I didn't pack, unpack anything. No. Because everything I needed, they were in my clothes drawer, and even there, I had, like, like a jacket and some other things I never touched. You know, like, they were yeah. just unpacked because they were part of the rest of it, you know? Exactly. But the boxes, I had, like, two boxes stacked, like, or three, in the s sort of left-hand corner of my apartment, and I had another two on the other side, <laughs> and I never touched them. They were they were furniture, pretty much. Yeah. Like, I had shit on them, you know, like, but they weren't, like, I never felt the urge, yeah. like, I need my, I don't know, what the fuck was in them. Like, my old math book, you know, I don't know. I think that's that. what I'm going to do this Sunday, actually. I'm going to clear out the fucking storage... Because there's so much shit, unusable yeah. shit in there that mm -hmm. I don't even know why I'm saving. I have so many like bags of clothes that are just lying in shit storage. It's it's way past your bedtime. Oh shit! It's like we're 40 minutes in. There you go. Yeah. So um, do stuff. Yeah. Uh, better <laughs> clean out yeah. your life. No. Exactly. Minimalist lifestyle, and you can think the same way with uh, art. I guess. Yeah. I think so. Uh, and with the minimalistic thing, it's just like. If something doesn't make you happy, why the fuck are you still doing it? Exactly. You know, like, it goes with anything. Yeah. We've talked about the whole friend yeah. situation many times. Like, don't surround yourself with, with people yeah, that make you yeah. not happy. Yeah. It's easy. It's really that easy. And blood doesn't mean that you have to suffer through all no, that. No. Like, it doesn't matter if it's family, if it's friends, if it's assholes. <laughs> yeah. It's just an like... An asshole is an are, asshole. Exactly. It doesn't really matter if you're blood related or not. No. Like... It doesn't change the fact that someone's being an I ass. I almost or... went really dark. Yeah, okay. or dark, or like R-rated on that oh, one. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> X-rated even. Yeah, but yeah, triple no. X-rated. So, so yeah. uh, just focus on being happy and think about what makes you happy. Yeah. is what we're saying. It's an easy equation, and yeah, just fucking live life and mm -hmm. do what you want within limitations. Obviously, don't yep. kill people. Definitely don't kill people. Unless, um, unless you get paid for it. Because <laughs> that's cool. That is uh, cool. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I miss um, yeah. So, uh, thank you for listening. Thank you. No, just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, if you want to give us a high five on the internet of iTunes and give us a rating, that would be awesome. Please. Uh, also, any type of sharing in your stories or, you know. Vero. Vero or Twitter. Wherever you share the podcast, like whether it be YouTube or, you know, anywhere, just share it and it'll help us. Yes. Or recommend it to a friend. You suck at art. You should listen to Skeptic Heroes. <laughs> that, that is also welcome. So Yeah. Or like, you're way too good. You should listen to Skeptic yeah, exactly. Heroes. Exactly. Whatever happens, listen to Sketchbook Hero. Yeah, you're not into you. art. <laughs> we're there for you, bro. Yeah. So, or hey, sis. <laughs> it doesn't matter Everybody. how stupid you are as long as you listen to the Sketchbook Hero. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never be as stupid as the Sketchbook Heroes. <laughs> exactly. You will never attain the level of stupidity that we're sort of harnessing here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this room is so stupid. <laughs> No, but yeah, yeah, you get the point. You do. Uh, we so, are yeah. available on a lot of platforms. Spotify, SoundCloud, YouTube, Instagram. Vero. Facebook. <laughs> yeah, no, we yeah. don't have a Vero. We don't have a Vero. We don't have Vero. We don't have Vero. <laughs> yeah, <to>. iTunes, <laughs> some other weird Android apps that have podcasts. Just Google us. Google us. Yeah, we're, easy. We're Google friendly. I think Sketchbook Heroes. I haven't actually Googled Scooby Dooby Dooby. I'm just surprised <laughs> Sketchbook Heroes wasn't taken when we got it. Yeah. It was like, oh, Score. Sketchbook Heroes probably not. And they're like, ooh, <laughs> it's no. available. Nobody's that dorky. Yeah. So let's go to that main topic. Yeah. What was that's that? That's going to talk about pretty much what we did talk about, but yeah. sort of more specific. We are sort of on top of the main topic. Yeah, we are sort of. So like, we're just sort of 
doing this to sound professional. Yeah. Yeah. So, but, so, but, yeah, fuck yeah. Yeah, fuck Love yeah. Fuck yeah. 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 Fuck yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> I just oh, we just man. okay, yeah. Uh, so we're back. <laughs> so we're back. We're both a bit blushed. Uh, I don't know why we blushed. We've said worse things than that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, on this episode, we're gonna sort of take that struggle part and give you sort of some tools or some tips. Yeah. I don't know. We're gonna talk. We're gonna talk. We're gonna keep talking. That's pretty much what we're, that, that's what we're doing. Uh, that's exactly what we're doing. Uh, okay. okay. So our first question is regarding, okay, so you're struggling with shit. That's great. Or you don't know what you sort of want to do. Or, you know, there's a million questions in your nog, mm -hmm. noggin that you don't know what to do with it. You know, like people said you're good. Some said you suck. You're <laughs> upset. You know, there are. Life is throwing. Let's not take my ball. entire life story here, exactly. Elias, okay? <laughs> Let's just focus on so the, the no, other people. Yeah, exactly. So no matter <laughs> what the struggle is, uh, I think, like, why do you do art, okay? Why do you do art? Like, what is your passion? What sort of... What the fuck does... Oh, sorry, guys. Yeah, what the fuck? I just <laughs> fucked the mic. <laughs> no, we're trying to fix our mics, but we're sitting today, yeah, we're which sitting. is not we're a lazy. common thing. Yeah, but... Well, it's coming for me. I'm it's coming for you, lazy. yeah, but I'm not. So this is super yeah. weird. Uh, but yeah, what... Do you what want you, to do? What, yeah. Do you have any goals with your art mm -hmm. at all? Or do you just do it as a hobby to meditate or whatever it is? Yeah. What uh, is your sort figure of... Figure out sort of where you want to be with your mm -hmm. art, I guess. That's a good first step. And the thing is that depending if you want to be a professional artist or a, like, you know, just a hobbyist, like both are valid, but one's going to like sort of need a little more work like more commitment of course uh so i think but it's the same with anything if you want to be professional at anything you need to put the time in to do yeah, it yeah definitely and then there are people that sort of you know they're just born with it maybe it's maybe maybe it's <laughs> yeah, <this is> <laughs> yeah. stop stop reading my mind or your uh, mind so <laughs> <laughs> one of our minds uh yeah but the thing is it's I think what we're going to be talking about is going to be aimed at the professional, okay? But so the hobby is that you can take it easy. But yeah. if you do follow the tips, You're like, gonna, yeah. they're still valid for you. Definitely. But they're more important for people that want to pursue art, like in a professional Yeah, they want to make like, a living. Work. Yeah, they want to exactly or, that or, one. Or make money, I guess. Better yeah, money. But make a living. Let's, let's call yeah, it that. Let's do Making it that money way. sounds so capital, capitalistic. Yeah. Sort of like 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 it's all about the money. It's all about the dum 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 dum. dum. Yeah, fuck it. You fuck. don't think it's funny? What, what, why are See, if they had a way, I think it's all about I think we the... unintentionally <laughs> speak in songs, and then <laughs> that's why we're making or like commercials. Apparently, yeah. maybe it's Maybelline. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so find out what your passion is, or sort of like I want to work at Disney. What do you want to do with Disney? Do you want to bring people coffee? Do you want to? I don't know. <laughs> Because you could easily work Give at Disney. Give back rubs, yeah, <laughs> exactly. I think, yeah. Like, we're looking for a janitor on aisle five. No, but... Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, set a goal. Yeah, have your goal ready. Like, I want to be a character designer at Disney. Then, yeah. what do you need to be a character designer? You Start, break, it, break down. it down. Exactly. And one of the most important tips that we give on this podcast is like write shit down. Because if you have to sort of juggle it in your mind, we all know how minds work. They don't. No. They fucking just jumble everything. And then like the three most important things don't make the list. Like this podcast, Always. pretty yeah, much. I was just gonna say, right? Yeah. Like, because we've already fucked up forty minutes of this podcast just talking and then talking about social media for no reason, <laughs> and then yeah, not suddenly, like we've ever talked about that before. Or yeah, exactly. Yeah. Previous episode <laughs> not included. Uh, <laughs> Always. Uh, <laughs> this is um, yeah. This episode is a clusterfuck of <laughs> no, topics. This is, this is the best episode. This is the best episode, I love probably. It. Yeah. Uh, so focus first of what you want to achieve. So we said character designer. Okay. Yeah. What that's the a good, fuck do that's you a need? Good example. What the fuck do you need? You need anatomy. You yeah. need to know how to draw characters. Uh, Even if you're going to draw the most spaced out fucking aliens that you can think of, you still need to know basic anatomy. Yeah, because you you like you need to base your designs off of something that people recognize and functionality. And there's a lot of factors that go into good character design. Yeah, exactly. 
And also, you might want to sort of be able to draw maybe one, two, three, like things that aren't characters as well. Like, yeah. <laughs> so I'm just saying like you need to study anatomy. Then you might need to study like animal anatomy, which is a whole different piece. Yeah. And so on. Like, so you, so you sort just of need anatomy to know. in general, I would say. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, but I'm just saying that there are more to the oh yeah. Thing. And or maybe you like vehicle designs, you know, shit like that. You want to work as a car designer. Then mm -hmm. what do you need? You need to learn about cars. You need to know what the fuck the parts. Why why are these things on a car? You know, like what is the function of all these pieces? Mm -hmm. And you you start simple, you know, like basic shapes, all that jazz. But I'm just saying that you need to take your sort of like your your big goal and break it down into shit you can actually do. Yeah. Because if you're just drawing shit, oh, I like to doodle cars and I want to work with cars one day. That's not going to get you anywhere. Like you no. need like use then that you're passion. You're going to doodling cars. Exactly. Because uh, you want to learn at a fast pace. You mm -hmm. want to learn at a faster pace. You want to work smart. You don't want to like there are so many tutorials out there that will sort of give you a lot of tips. Uh, on how to break this stuff down. So don't try to figure out how to break down a car by yourself. No. Like, it's great that you're committed. We like but the effort. We like the effort, but it's a waste of time. Yeah. <laughs> so you're not going to try to invent the lighter when you're going to light a candle. You use the lighter that you bought exactly. that someone else made. Yeah. Unless you want to be a guy that makes lighters, then you should learn how exactly. to make lighters. Just but learn as much as you can from others or others, steal. Yeah, th there know. is nothing wrong here. When you're in your learning phase, you should really just, like, don't spend a year figuring out how to break down cars. That shit already exists. Yeah. Use it. Exactly. Uh, same thing with, like, trying to learn perspective from guessing. That's terrible. Yeah. It's going to take you, like, a lifetime. And then by the time you're done, you're going to not, like, you're going to be dead. <laughs> yeah. There are tons of books, tons of YouTube tons, tutorials. So tons of, many things. And everything. You can find it all. And it's all accessible to you right in your fucking phone if you want it. It's in That's your pocket. That's what I'm talking about. Like mm -hmm. the phone is, it has everything nowadays. You can learn anything. By so, the, so I'm turning to, it into a positive now. I'm just saying. Robert. Always That's look, great. always look to the positive, man. Hippie side Rob, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> it's what we do. But yeah, break it down, yeah. break down into easy steps to follow. And then if you notice that, well, let's say you've broken it down into five puzzle pieces. Maybe you're going to have to break yeah. those into different pieces. That's actually something that I do. Like, sometimes I'm just like, I'm, I'm dumber than this. I, like, I, I, yeah. need, I, I need to I go need dumber. To know I need to go dumber. This part yeah. in this. I need to go dumber. Because yeah. that's why I love the, the sort of like, YouTube is full of shit. <laughs> and so much shit. So much shit. <laughs> and so you can live really like, okay, this is how this guy draws a head. And then this guy draws a head like this. And this works for me. This I mm -hmm. understand. Whereas yeah. this might be technically correct, but exactly. it does not work for me. Yeah. And then once I've like, like I'm thinking back on like how to draw comics, th that book that I had, Dynamic Comics, la la la. Yeah. I don't remember what the book was called or the guy. We've talked about it. It was like something David or. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, but, but fuck it. That Dynamic Comics, blah, blah, blah. Not something, yeah. something. Mm -hmm. That book, it just like clicked for me. Because we were pursuing comics back then. Yes. And that was the first one that I found that wasn't sort of like, ugh. Mm. You know, like, I felt like, okay, this, I can wrap my head around this. Like, very simple steps. Now that I think back, some of the anatomy was like, ugh. Mm. But, you know, like, it worked for me at the time. And you as long as find... it makes you understand what you're Exactly, because it to gave learn, me something. Yeah. And that's something, now that I use it, I don't draw them exactly that way. But, but it that's still where it has, but it's at, like, yeah. I can still sort of see some of the traits that I have now are still from that time. Yeah. And that's I pretty th cool. That's pretty cool. Exactly. And you only think about it when you're sort of trying to break it down again mm -hmm. in the same way. But now you. You you know more. Yeah. Like, well, I don't have to rely gone, on you, that reference. You have the miles now, you know. And I still don't feel like I have the miles. And I think if no, you but, talk to yeah. any, like, professional out there, they never, no one's satisfied. You can talk to anyone at Disney, anyone at Pixar. Like, they're always sort of like, everybody wants to know more. And I think that's what sort of puts them in these positions as well. Like, they're Fuck so yeah. good beyond us, and they're still sort of like... But they're still on the same level. Yeah, they're like, but, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do life drawing, mamba, okay, mamba, <laughs> mamba. 
Mamba. Mambo. Mambo. Mambo number five. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and, but I'm just saying, you have to use that hunger. And you can't just think of, like, when I'm at Disney, I'm going to be awesome. No. Because, you know, there's a few years between then and, and But it's and, a beautiful now. way to think about it, like, just the way you put it now. But, like, that makes every one of us connected in that way. Yeah. That we're all in the same position. Dude, we're all in the Even same boat, been, but we can't see each other. Like, Drew Struzan's been painting masterpieces yeah. for 60 years or whatever he's done, you know. But he's still there, and he's still struggling, just like we are yeah. every day. And it's it's a, it's an amazing thing. Like, fuck, I haven't thought about it before. I haven't it thought just, about it, it just like hit you said me. as well. Like, you're putting it into more of a better perspective than I did. I hippie, think. hippie perspective. I think, yeah. Because <laughs> I think, like, it's all connected. we're all. Like, that's why I tell people, like, don't just like comment on my post the one that i wrote like if you haven't seen the what is your biggest struggle go in and read people's comments you're probably going to relate with like 80 percent of those oh yeah because uh, we're sure. all struggling like it doesn't matter if it's art block or if we can't draw people or if we can't draw hair or we can't draw the other eye that was a big <laughs> yeah. problem apparently on the previous one <laughs> which was the best one so that's always going to that. be a reference yeah the other eye <laughs> Yeah. Uh, but I think something. Matt Hubble, Matt Hubble, Hubble, uh, wrote art, man, all of it. It's yeah. hard, <laughs> yeah. and it is. Like sometimes it's so fucking true. hard. It's so fucking true. And even when you learned like those things that you wanted, there's a bunch of million other things you're still not like sort of on top yes. of. Plus the other new stuff that's coming up all the time yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Tech that we don't even know about. So try to break it down into things that you need to learn. And when it comes to sort of the character design part, like what we said, then like maybe what tools do they use? You know, like maybe it's Photoshop. Mm -hmm. I would say that if you're going to put your money on an application, I would put it on Photoshop. Yes. If you're a 3D person, focus on Maya, which is an industry standard. And like at least in video games, I don't actually know how it works in the animation industry. But I'm pretty sure but like most Maya, of the 3D programs 3D Max, are relatable. You know, all like those, they yeah. all kind of work in the same way. Yeah, I like know. Like Procreate I know, but and still... Photoshop, they're pretty. They go hand in hand almost. They have a few different variables yeah, guess, well, to them, but in the basis of the program, it's yeah, sort of built Yeah, but I think all up. the drawing programs have those yeah, in common. and they that's just... what I mean with the 3D programs as well. So, yeah. I mean, if you learn menus, Maya, yeah. then you could jump over to Rhino and you could probably use that easily or 3DS Max. But the thing is, you know, it is a bit different though. Like, the, those applications have so many things that you need to keep track yeah, yeah, of. Yeah. So it, I'm just saying. The, the, like, but, but I think it's easier for like a really good 3D person in Maya to go over to that than it is for you and me that don't know yes, shit about yes. anything. Yeah, Because we went from uh, uh, 3DS Max to Maya mm -hmm. in school. And it was, it was oh, yeah, different. Oh, yeah, you did that. Yeah. yeah, it was different, but it wasn't that different. Okay. It was like, it was easily uh, uh, applicable, like mm -hmm. the okay, skills okay, that you knew yeah. from Max. Because Max is a lot more difficult, mm. and it's just a lot more steps. It's like really? going from Photoshop to Illustrator in that oh, way. Yeah, that it's like, wait, what? Fuck, I hated that. Because they look the same. Yeah, it's the same but no manufacturer, rules apply, yeah. you know. <laughs> but no rules apply. <laughs> Hell no. And that's like, obviously, you need to learn Illustrator if you're going to be a designer and, yeah. and, and work with graphics, yeah. uh, graphic design and shit. Mm -hmm. So there's always tools for you out there. You just need to sort of know what to Google or YouTube. Yeah. And you're going to learn everything. I think so. Like, you don't have to, like... Or go to school. Yeah, exactly. Go to school if you have a hard time breaking shit down mm -hmm. by yourself. But I, I don't know. Like, some schools are really good. Some schools, I think, are limiting their students in a way or other. Like, yeah. But, I mean, if you're if you're a super noob and you really don't know where to begin... Oh, school yeah. School is, is definitely... Uh, even if it's, like, shit... It's still going to be more than you know. So it's a good start, you know? But it's it like, depends. I, I think it depends on the teachers. You know, uh, some yeah. teachers are fucking destructive. Of course. But it, they just deserve. But it, it all depends, in my head, it all depends yeah. on how you receive what you're being given. Yeah, you know? yeah definitely. Obviously, definitely. you can take your teacher's uh, score, score, like <laughs> the. the the lesson word for word and do exactly what he said or mm -hmm. she said. But. There's the other part where it's like we talked about earlier that they tell you this is what you're going to do and then you just do what you feel naturally 
you would yeah. and then you finish the assignment yeah and that's what i told you like i want to take a step back now that i'm going to study again mm -hmm. and really try to do more okay this is what my teacher tells me to do and i want to do it the way he or she tells okay. me to do it yeah just to test myself like do i have the patience if it is something that i feel like well you know why don't they just fucking do it this way because yeah, yeah, then yeah. you could do it in 30 minutes instead of 30 days mm -hmm. like or whatever it is yeah, but yeah, yeah. i want to really try test it out yeah. Yeah, yeah okay so you're gonna go back to being a student and just listen as if you know nothing exactly like i'm gonna i'm gonna put the tattooing on the shelf for a while because mm -hmm. i'm gonna go well when i come down there i'm gonna have two months of a holiday and sort of Oh, before out, school starts? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and figure out a bit, like, what I want to do. Uh, maybe find some casual job or whatever. Uh, I am going to tattoo eventually again, but yeah, 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 that's not but my number one priority now. Right now, yeah. No, I want to, like, become a student again. And it feels great going back to that. Like, I'm really excited for it. Mm -hmm. uh, like, I don't know. It, it ma Yes, Passion. it just makes me... Like I, I have a renewed love for the whole. That's awesome. Everything, like yeah. just being able to create again, and and being like excited to see what's gonna come out mm -hmm. of it. Yeah, that's awesome, dude. That's what you should be feeling, and not so much the end result. No, exactly. Because I think that's a hard thing in the beginning, that, like understanding. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. like, oh, like someone wrote to me on that post as well that they were like discouraged, like, oh, 17 year olds are like way better than me and la la la, you know, all that. Like you can't compare yourself. No. Like Ken has not. like tons of time and he has something that we didn't have yeah. access to this shit. Exactly. Like at a young age. It's like, you know, remember when you and me were doing backflips mm -hmm. and then the, the, like we were in our 20s and the like 12 year olds and 10 year olds and fucking yeah. all those small kids just they were fucking killing with the backflips mm -hmm. they were doing way more advanced shit they were combining shit that were way more advanced exactly because they saw more advanced shit than we did yeah yeah, yeah. they they've been like they grew up with uh super advanced stuff exactly so that was so, their day to day yeah we, so that was normal for them just yeah, doing we saw like a triple in, like, court jackie, or whatever yeah exactly we saw jackie chan movies yeah and, shit. and for so us that was we, like light years yeah, yeah and, and then like, you rewatched like movies and like rewind the movie and just check the, your favorite parts like and that's what you did i actually like, saw armor of god the other day nice <laughs> classic <laughs> so the first good. one the first yeah. one amazing there's I a third to. one now really yeah he released it he's old i haven't seen it I don't. I don't want to see it. <laughs> Not. Nah, they have all been a bit disappointment. The new ones. Yeah. He's so explosive when he's young, and then you're like, oh mm -hmm. man. <laughs> of course you age. It's fine. But I, I love the whole chewing gum thing. Yeah, yeah it's, it's so too. cool. Like, Sorry for the segue. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I totally but, yeah, agree. No, we needed to. We needed to sort of let the valve go on yeah. that one a bit. Uh, but but yes. yeah, they, they're introduced to all this stuff at an earlier age. My kids have seen more YouTube videos than I have. Like, there in my go. life. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm not kidding. My daughter has seen, like, so many YouTube videos. Because, at, like, when we were kids, we were outside, running around, playing. My kids do that. Mm -hmm. But they also invest more time in watching videos. And these videos are, like, kids, other kids playing and doing stuff. There are also videos of people creating stuff. My daughter watches drawing videos of people, like, drawing, you know, I don't know, Shopkins. Shopkins is a little toy, you know, like they're like sort of groceries. Okay. And I've, I've like, never heard no, of it. They're like plastic figurines, like really small ones, collectibles-ish. Mm -hmm. And they're like a little lipstick, a little milk carton, you know, they're all with faces on. And she watches people sort of draw these and so she, I didn't have that shit. I had to make that up. Like I had to like physically sit and figure that shit out myself. Yeah. Whereas they watch someone do it and they do it mm -hmm. and then they learn. And if you have sort of like the, the, the sort of the, the do-it-yourself stuff from YouTube, you can learn so much as a kid if you are disturbed in the head like we are with mm -hmm. drawing. Yeah. You will pick up things, you know, and learn things that no one's been teaching you. You're just like, oh, I love this shit. I'm just going to fucking draw and stuff. And you're just going to understand it. And you're going to understand it from an earlier yeah. age because it kept being, you kept repeat watching it. And my yeah. kids watch, you know, like, oh, I'm going to watch this video again. I'm like, boring. Mm-hmm. But for them, they just see something yeah, in it. Yeah, they see something in it. There's a value. So, 
I think that's yeah. awesome, though. I mean, so yeah, so that's the good and the positive of next of generation. Next I generation, guess. yeah, but they just, get access to a lot yeah. of the content that is learning content. You know, like some of them are just super dumb. Yeah, no, I'm, for me, it's I'm just worried about you know because more and more people are getting depressed, more and more people yeah. are not happy. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. who the fuck are we going to talk about that? I would love to get someone like an artist that is sort of. S- like successful like either like us you know like semi successful yeah. or whatever you want to call it. like they've done stuff. successful <laughs> but they've done some stuff like they worked sort of like with freelance or at a company or with you know like but then again also struggled with this part mm-hmm. and how they sort of deal with it like i just i'm just curious yeah. like someone that could feel that they could open talk about it openly cuz i think there's a lot of depression man yeah no, and 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 that's my biggest worry because yeah. not only the artists but like people in general are just just I don't know. It feels like people are finding ways to get depressed now. And that's Whereas, depressing you? No, I'm just <laughs> yeah, of course it is. <laughs> no, but it's I it's thought. really sad yeah. and it is super tricky. Um but I think life the, is just struggle less sometimes, you know, like yeah. there's like I think I listened to Joe Rogan uh and they talked about sort of I don't remember what the what the topic at hand was, but we don't have we I I totally agree that we don't have like the struggle for sur- survival, mm-hmm. which has always been a thing that humankind has had. Yeah, you know, like we've never like food or something, you know, has always been to our disadvantage. Like, okay, I'm just gonna eat a lot now because who knows? Yeah, you never know. And, when you're and, get and you food. have to sort of like that keep on moving sort of thing that we've always had. We don't have that anymore. I can just sit at home, you know, like order a pizza, have it come. You just put it on my st- belly and just eat. You yeah, know? You, like there's, you can probably pay them to feed you. Like as I well. wouldn't, I, dude. Yes, with enough money, I think that is sort of like the Bill Cosby thing, yeah. where he would just like have the like they said that the, they would have like the guard sort of tuck him in and wait until he fell asleep. Oh yeah. So creepy, so fucking creepy. <laughs> asshole. But yeah, I'm just saying that we live in a world where we could sort of do nothing if mm-hmm. we wanted to, like to some extent. Yeah. And I think that complacency is sort of, you know, yeah, like that's, a, that's... a nice decline oh, yeah. in our mental health. Yeah. Because I feel like when I don't work out, it's terrible. Like, I don't see how people don't work out. No. Just going there and lifting things, it's a pointless act in itself. Like, I'm going to lift this from A to B a couple of times. Yeah. <laughs> but what it does to your body and mind, it's fucking... It just wakes you up. It wakes you up. It's awesome to be mm-hmm. strong. Like, I'm thinking, like, how many artists are suffering because they're sort of, like, not feeling good about themselves, like, on a... Like, how they look physically. Yeah. Like, I have a fucking lazy eye, I have shit, but I'm still sort of, like, not, like, I'm proud of myself, you know? Like, I can't do anything about my lazy eye, I can't do anything about my hair getting, you know, thinner, <laughs> you know, like, you yeah. can't, the shit you can't affect. Life can't, happens, you, you know? can't affect body hair, you can't affect, you have a short, like, a limp, you know, like, shit you can't affect. Don't fucking let it bother you. Like, it's shit that we all deal with. We all have that shortcoming that we're all aware of that no one else gives a fuck about. hmm and we spend so much time feeling bad about it or like, oh, I don't like the way my body looks. Are you doing anything to change it? No. Not at all. Exactly. Uh, and I'm not saying that you should look like billboards or anything. You should Hell feel no. like there's nothing. When I say like, when I tell people go to the gym, like, oh, I don't want to be muscly. Like, that's not what I'm asking you to do. No. I'm and you're just, probably not going to achieve it. <laughs> just fucking exercise. I'm just saying that it's nice to be strong. Yeah. Like, I'm not talking about muscle. I'm not talking about any of that. I'm talking about the ability to go down to the gym with no experience, learn something, lift it up, mm-hmm. and then go from like 10 kilos to 50 kilos on a certain thing. That feels good. You know, like, there's like, you could tell me, oh, well, lifting weights is boring. Yeah, but if I make you lift and I make you strong, you're not going to tell me that same story again. No, of course not. I've had people that come with me and then, you know, after a couple, after a while, when they start getting stronger and the, the sort of the learning, like the, you don't think about learning anymore. It's not like, oh, I'm going to lift this and I'm going to think about this and I'm going to do this. And yeah. like it's all that disappears. It's just like, I know what I'm doing. So I'm just going to lift. And then suddenly you're way stronger. Mm-hmm. So you have to sort of jump some weights because otherwise your body's just going to like, <laughs> whatever, yeah. because it knows the movement now. 
and that gives you such a fucking like satisfaction. euphoric satis- mm-hmm. yeah, and satisfaction. And that's another fucking form of dopamine kick. But yeah, that's of course a, it that's is. a good one. Yeah. You know, you can't affect it's how many people you. like your shit, but you can't affect how much shit you can live. Yeah. And at that's a certain the, that's time. The thing. Like you should always be your main focus. Yeah. And again, like Elias said, don't look at the fucking billboards and shit. Yeah. I mean, obviously you could use that as sort of inspiration or motivation in some way because it's not all negative you know it depends on the it's, billboard it's, though it's like how you some... look at it it's that's always what it is everything is relative yeah, yeah, i'm yeah. just trying to you know see it from a positive side uh, obviously i think we should have more plus size models and stuff as well but all i mean if you need motivation to train you're yeah. not going to have a, a lazy like big person in a couch on the cover of health magazine no. you know yeah You need somebody with muscles because they need to inspire you to get muscles. You know, that's yeah, that's what I'm uh, talking but about. I, but I still think, like, when I when I go to the gym, like, when we were kids and we saw Fight Club, yeah. I wanted, oh, Fight Club is my goal. It's a terrible idea. Yeah. It's a terrible idea because well, I don't have... No, but I'm just... No, what, I, what I'm saying is that... <laughs> to get I, to I, get to there, you... No, but you have to think about that. Me and Brad Pitt, we don't share the same body type. No, 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 no. Okay? So... Already there, it's lost. But nowadays, people ask me, why do you train oh, health, right? No, not at all. I just like sort of, it's a body modification thing. Mm. But, but for me, it isn't an unhealthy thing. I don't feel bad about it. I don't like restrict my food so I feel bad. I don't eat too much. You know, like I just like. But you have full control of every part but, of your But that's being, what I like. like. Well, that's what I like about it. Because mm. I'm like, okay. If I do this, I'm going to start seeing this shape on my arms. If I train like this, this gives me a lot of this. Mm -hmm. And I have this cut that I've talked about, like across my chest that I get when I train a lot Mm -hmm. and lose some of my fat. And then once I got it once, it's there all the time, like more or less. But I love that cut that I got there. That was one of my goals because I knew I could get it. I could like barely see it. But I knew that if I sort of kept my diet and then like Mm -hmm. it was there. And it's just like you see, it's more like you just see muscle fiber. That's what you're seeing. Mm. And I like that. I I like being my own anatomy. Yeah. But uh, some people are going to argue that you're like sick in the head for thinking that way. But man. I am. I am. It's just like drawing for yeah. me. I'm controlling that's, that's my drawing I'm and Everybody my learning. Is. Yeah. It's all relative. But I think so depending on how you see everything, it's going to turn into a negative or yeah. a positive for everybody. So that's why I try to keep on the positive side with most things yeah. in my life. And for people that know me, you know that I am this way. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that's why I'm saying like, you know, you could still take, I mean, even maybe not go like as far as, you know, the anorexic and uh, Angelina Jolie pictures, you know. Yeah. But But if you have somebody that you think looks good, you could use that as a motivation instead of getting angry at them for having her on a billboard or him on a billboard looking well trained because obviously yeah, that person me, has sacrificed a lot to look that way yeah they they didn't just go into a fucking machine and come out that way no they had to sacrifice a fuckload of stuff yeah they, and probably feel like shit and hurting but looking that, like that, that yeah but that's what i mean and that's why i don't want people to try to attain to that like when i think about myself I'm trying to sort of like, okay, what do I want to do with my body? I can't, mm. like, the problem is when you bring out an outside reference, most of us choose one that is unattainable, you know, like, and sometimes but, but the I'm billboards not, are Photoshop, like, yeah, for example, like but, that, how but do you I'm attain not, that? I'm not saying that you're, you're supposed to like, that's what I, but that's what I'm going to look like. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm saying use it as motivation to start yeah, training. I, I, I t- like, I get it. Cause, But I think it's better to use yeah. yourself as the sort of like, okay, of course. I'm feeling a bit heavy. I don't feel proud of what I look like. Uh, I feel weak and lazy. And then you use that. Like, okay, I'm going to get rid of the sort of the lazy ass fucking mm. feeling that I'm having. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sort of work on, like, let's say shoulders. Super easy thing for everyone to sort of get yeah. going. It's good for uh, your posture too. Yeah, exactly. You start working on yourself out of your like sort of like what you're good at, like with drawing. Okay, I'm really good at anatomy or faces or eyes, you know, whatever the fuck it is. So you can start with easy wins. So it doesn't matter if it's art you're struggling with or if it's your physical appearance. You just sort of like nail down the things you're good at. Like writing shit down is always going to help because 
just keeping it in your head, it's just too it's, fuzzy. It's going to disappear. Too much too. noise, yeah. yeah. So just try to use yourself as your sort of inspiration. Like, okay, this is this is what I am right now. Mm-hmm. I don't feel, I, I don't look good in my own eyes. And it might be so little. It might be that just like you get a little stronger and that makes you feel better. Yeah. So it's not that you are fat or anything like that. It's just that you feel fat. It you could know be what the I total mean? Opposite. Yeah. You could be super mega skinny like I've always been my entire yeah. life. And you're like, I need to put on some more fucking muscles. Like I want to be more defined in some way or whatever it is. Yeah. And my wife was like, when we met, she was like super, like not skinny. She was like, like she looked like she was a fitness athlete like she was like like so defined like she had more muscle than i did like visible and but her belly would swell up like a fucking balloon and she'd look semi-pregnant you know what i mean (laughs) like her belly was like sensitive to some stuff okay Uh, so it would like swell up a lot and she wouldn't look as fit you know on the belly like it would swell up and she would feel like sort of discouraged yeah not unless you would feel like fat that that's without being fat you know what i mean so i'm yeah. I'm just saying that people that have like a little fat on them or you know you work at an office like king a lot of people that i've worked with at king sort of everyone gets a belly after some time i think yeah i'm one of the few that hasn't gotten a belly because we have fika you know which means like eating sweets mm-hmm. and cakes and celebrating shit and you Constantly. put on some weight yeah constantly it's less now but it's it was a constant at some point and i'm just saying that sometimes it's the feeling more than the look you like mm. you and no one else perceives you as fat or like you know chubby or anything no it's mostly you you are your sort of hardest critic and you're projecting that image into the head Some of every of others because other you person. keep saying that you're fat exactly. or something yeah yeah and so i think it's important that you just go to the gym these are your problems These are your goals, and then you sort of like okay. Once you, because I know Except that everyone it and start working at it. Yeah, because yeah. I think it's just like simple things that can make you feel better. Mm. Like this probably won't like, like but, I mean, take away this, your depression you know, or anything. And all of but this it is can help. applicable to art as well. Just yeah, so this is all. I mean, applicable. we're talking training now because it's sort of you know we we have been training a lot yeah. our entire lives. That's why we go to by default go into it a lot. Yeah. So sorry if uh, we're boring you with all this yeah, stuff. Yeah, but, but this is all applicable to yes. all aspects of life. Exactly. If you don't like something, write it down. Yeah. What can you do about it? Do that. Yeah. Like you don't have to be good. Remember that when it comes to art, your your art in the beginning when you're practicing, it doesn't have to be good. Save it for reference. Same thing when I tell people to train. I said take tons of pictures. Some results you're going to feel and see. And some are going to be visible on a scale. Mm-hmm. Some are going to be visible, you know, if you had like one of those uh, measuring bands that you can put around your waist. Yeah. Like, do it all. Just write shit down for reference. When it comes to art, you can just save the sketches and then have, like, I think we've said this before, but have this one thing that you keep redrawing, like with six months interval or that one year interval. Exactly right? exactly what I was going to say. Like, yeah, because this is <laughs> I a thing. in my head. I was like, I'm just going to wait yeah yeah because that's, <laughs> that's like it. a like you need these measurements because if you don't measure the result sometimes can be invisible yeah it's gonna get lost in all the, and i wish the i had rest. taken pictures now but i don't want to show you my sort of like my my my, my bad side but I, <laughs> i could do it for the the sake of this example but that's I didn't why i take keep picture. my stuff on uh deviant art No, no, but I was not going to say art. No, I was no, gonna, like With me. the training, for example, yeah. right now. I'm, I'm, I'm dude, past the I training. Ate, no, but I ate so much dime torta in December. Like every <laughs> night, like <laughs> like three nights in a row, like in a week, I would have like dime torta. And not, dime torta is like 2,000 calories something. I don't know. That's a lot. <laughs> that's just the dime torta. So that's a cake pretty much. Uh, it's that a I would dime have. cake. It's a dime cake, exactly. <laughs> uh, but it feels weird saying dime cake when they're called dime torta. <laughs> uh, so I would like eat one of those, like like a like a whole one of those, like a night when I was off, and that's what I did. I didn't gain that much, but I did gain. I think I was up to eighty three kilos or something. Holy shit! And now I'm down at seventy nine, and I've been at seventy nine this whole year almost, like like the beginning of this year, like. But the definition for doing eating less and doing everything i haven't lost a lot of weight 
I keep going down like 79.0 and then 79.5, you know, just up and down there. But the muscle definition is so much greater at the same weight that I've had this whole year. Like nice. the veins are starting to come back. Like I can see like the vascularity returning. So you see all like sort of, it's not just weight. It's not just this. It's a lot of things. Some mm -hmm. things you can measure in different ways. So sometimes, you know, when you're not seeing an improvement in your art or in your sort of other Whatever goals, it yeah, mm -hmm. it's still measurable. You you might not be measuring the right thing no. or you might be doing different things. You might not even have noticed that you like, let's say, let's take it like in January, you started drawing something yeah. okay like you were studying basic just gest basic gesture just to take something and uh, but then in i don't know six months later you're like i'm not improving but you're just you are improving but you are also sort of you're not doing basic gesture anymore you're attacking more advanced studies of you're course. studying more advanced things and you're not there yet so your study and result is shittier than the basic gesture. Because, because it's constantly new things that you're drawing. Exactly. So, so you're not always... If you drew the same thing over and over and over and over and over again, that would just show your improvement. And that's, that's what Elias is saying also, yeah. I guess. Like, if you have the one thing, then you go back and you draw that thing again six months later just to test yourself. Yeah. You might not see, like crazy amounts of improvement mm -hmm. but you might you also. might yeah you might also just see so like in my head i just had like oh uh, maybe you draw harry potter like mm -hmm. and then you draw him and you remember you you post that up on the board or whatever so you look at it you hate it you fucking hate that thing so it drives you to become better constantly or you put it in a drawer and you don't fucking yeah. see it six months later you draw harry potter again without looking at that one first obviously yeah yeah, yeah. And then you take them both out, put them right next to each other, and compare it. Mm -hmm. And then keep going. And then see what happens. Yeah. I mean, that's an easy way to just measure your progress. Uh, but with that said, I mean, mm -hmm. first figure out what you want to do. <laughs> yeah. And also, something that I really like that talk that you had there, uh, the good points, uh, because I was listening to... Like, I don't know if it was older episodes of Chew Stream, which is Bobby Chew's schoolism guy. Yeah. Uh, I was listening to him talk to someone and he was talking about being at a museum and sort of seeing the the, the, the sketches and pre-paintings for a masterpiece, you mm. know, like the old masters. Yeah. And nowadays, the first thing that we draw, we expect to be the masterpiece. Yeah. And... I'm guilty of this. I think a lot of Everybody people that is. go to art school as well are guilty of this, where they're like, oh, you have this assignment. And we're like, oh, shit, I have this night to do this assignment. And you just do the one thing and it's your and that, masterpiece it. within yeah. parentheses. Yeah. Yeah. And you haven't uh, thought of, like, maybe you thought about it 10% compared yeah. to the rest of uh, the 100 that you And that's why I encourage do. you all, like, if you're going to draw a portrait of Robert then you shouldn't just do the first thing that comes to mind. You should do a couple of sort of like, if let's say, because you, you and me, we draw from several photos. Yeah, we do. We draw one person's face out of several photos so we can choose sort of how to put the face. You know, and like, also like, especially if you know the person of, or watched a lot of movies, you yeah. have all that movement and you know how the face works. Yeah. Like it is stored in your mind because your brain just remembers everything. It's just going to take a, a, some time to sort of mm -hmm. drag it out of there. But you do understand how the shape of the head works and how does the, like the dimples or, you know, smile, uh, what do you call it? Is it dimples? Dimples, yeah. Yeah. You, you know how they form when this but, person yeah, smiles. Exactly. And all, you know, you have all of this in your head. So, you know, you, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and I think it's important. I think when I was at a Jason Seiler, uh, the caricature guy that does a lot of famous caricatures, he said, like, when I do a face, I get to know the face by sketching it several times. They're not masterpieces. But I try to sort of, like, in a couple of sort of, like, quick lines sketch out the basic like the the, the main features of the face mm. and the more you do this the more you sort of discover about this person's face so let, let's take someone like uh i think cameron diaz has a lot of sort of like 
recognizable because she has this like really big smile mm. and it has like a sort of jokerish sort of like yeah, like it it's super sharp at the edges you know where the mouth the end of the mouth is sort yeah, of like, yeah. she gets this really sort of and if you draw her a couple of times i think you're going to pick up on a lot of these things like uh, so i think it's important that you do these pre-sketches like they don't have to be masterpieces it's more about you getting sort of like oh this is what a what a speaker looks like mm -hmm. from you a couple of different similar angles yeah. you know like and it's just the same with a face there are things that are the same you know like and then they have like they smile like this this happens yeah and this dimple pops up or you know like the nose has oh look the the nose has these look like, sort of squarish flat surfaces mm -hmm. on the you know sides or something like all these things everyone is unique you need to sort of sketch them and get to know them uh, your first sort of thing shouldn't be your masterpiece like no. you shouldn't expect it to be at least exactly and silence and silence yeah i was gonna go into like more uh how do you say like similarities i'm comparing stuff like About. you're you're not gonna finish a hundred meter race with one step you know unless you're a like fucking that. magician yeah which you are not which you're <laughs> crushing your dreams right here it's what we do <laughs> <laughs> no no you get the whole gist of everything that we've been talking about yeah, yeah, yeah. uh obviously uh, what we're saying within simple words is just work 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 twerk twerk Yes. Yeah, because you really need to put in the time. Mm. There, there are no shortcuts like that. The only shortcuts available are sort of like stealing. Yes. <laughs> no, but I think like if we're gonna talk shortcuts in drawing, yeah, you're still gonna have to put in a lot of time. Oh yeah. That's that's like yeah, inevitable. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But what you need to sort of do is that when you invest the time, make sure you're not reinventing things that are available to you. So there are, like, how do you break down the head? Oh, well, there's, like, a million videos out there. There's the Loomis way, and there's the, the other way. guy's <laughs> way, and, they're, like, I don't remember the names. Fuck it. Fuck and it. then there's also, like, Proko TV, Stan Propenko, 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 <laughs> whatever his name is, Proko TV on YouTube, and his own website, Proko TV something something. Uh, awesome place where he sort of breaks down anatomy, gesture, la, 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 la. Everything Great resource, you need. everything you need, go there. Uh, he doesn't have to be the best in the world. He just has to explain principles that you understand. Exactly. You're going to take it, apply it to your art, and make and your own you're gonna... sort of thing of it. Exactly. You're going to break it down, like destroy his legacy, and, and do it your way. You're supposed to. You're supposed to, yeah. That's, that's what it is. Do it as he says, and then do what works for you. Exactly. Like try his way, and then adapt it that's to your a, way. That's a shortcut. Yeah. That's, that's a shortcut. That's how it works. Yeah. So, you're welcome. <laughs> exactly. No. Uh, again, like, we always tend to sound a little bit harder when we talk about this. <laughs> like, we always sort of... It feels like we're coming down on you people out and there. And we are. Uh, Hard. In, in a way, we are. Yeah. Because I think the thing that makes us more pissed or annoyed, I guess, than anything is people saying that they don't have time or that they're not getting better when they're not doing anything about it. Like yeah. when it is 100% up to you, there is always time to be found. Like we talked about earlier yeah. and you can always get better if you just put that time in. Yeah. Like we said, you can't just lie down on your couch, eating uh, Cheetos out of your, your belly, belly button, button yeah. and watching Netflix, and then assume the next morning you're going to wake up being a better we artist. You should coin an awesome phrase for that type of laziness, like yeah. Doritos and chillers, and like Netflix and, I don't know. Slazy? <laughs> no. Slizflix and... <laughs> it's like sleazy and lazy. Slazy? Slazy. <laughs> no. And chips. Slazy and crisps. Yeah, we'll we'll work on it. Yeah, but, but I actually got one of those. Like, oh, uh, I haven't. I, I try and uh, like I've done so much anatomy, but I never improve. I'm like, how are you doing anatomy? And then I checked the gallery, and I'm like, there is no, there, there is no structure in this. You've just like, there's a lot of lines happening, but none of them tell me information that you would need to draw this pose that you're doing yeah so i'm just like are you really 
Are, are you, you just drawing anatomy and inventing a way of building the pose, you know? Because yeah. then you're doing it, you're wasting time. But like, that's the thing, like, we can't assume that people know how to go about these things. Like, yeah, I, I'm, and that's fine. Uh, like, because people don't know where to begin sometimes. Oh, they yeah, don't yeah, know yeah. how, I know. like, they. we're talking about you need to learn your basic anatomy. Like mm-hmm. where what would, is your yeah, basic what, anatomy? Exactly. Yeah. What is I, that? I totally get it. Yeah. But, and that's why I'm I mean, saying like you Proco can TV. It, yeah. yeah. Proco TV, I think, is one of the easiest right now uh, for you guys so that we can give you like yeah. offhand. Yeah. And another thing is that I lost it. Mentally, nice. I lost it. Yeah. It was just Ilias sort of like a... Lost. <laughs> He's wandering around aimlessly somewhere. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. Uh, what I was going to say. Yeah. <laughs> I'm back. I'm back from outer space. <laughs> no, 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 let's not go into song now. No. We don't have that much time. <laughs> how we survive? Sorry. Uh, yeah. So, how you will survive is no. But what we're saying is like we're sort of. Robert said that we're coming down on you. Like, like we sound very serious about it, and like this is how you do it, and all that shit. No, yeah. it's not like that at all. And um, the thing is, not everyone is ready. To receive the doctrine that is the sketchbook hero's way. No, just kidding. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but what we're saying is that, like we said in the beginning of this episode, which was probably the only good thing we said, uh, was <laughs> doubted. <laughs> uh, that, no, but we said that for some people it clicks later. Yeah. It, like it does click later. Like you've been drawing all your life, but it clicks when you're 34 yeah, or exactly. 30. Or I'm, whatever I'm still waiting for the click. Yeah, exactly. But I think you're clicking now with your studies and shit that yeah, you're yeah, talking I think about. So. Until you actually have to do them. <laughs> and, <laughs> exactly. No. That's it. Maybe you'll just become like a real, like a real hobo that wears sandal in the city and shit. Of course I will. And like, what like, did you expect? I already had the hair, man. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. And then and I'm going to work on my, my surfer lingo, dude. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'm just going to stay on the beach, man. And you should have right. a rug that really lifts up the room so you can sort of... <laughs> ties it talk all together. Ties it all together. <laughs> <laughs> uh, best, best movie ever. Dude, the Big Lebowski. So yeah. Watch it. Classic. Watch it. Should probably we watch it. You should. It still holds up. It's really? amazing. Nice. <laughs> but yeah. yeah. I'm just saying that you might not be there. That's fine too. Yeah. But if you are sort of like, if you want the art career in the sort of foreseeable future, mm-hmm. it's good. It doesn't matter if you're 13 or uh, I'm, I'm very sorry if you're 13. This is a terrible podcast. For you. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> uh, or if you're like Stop crying. 30 plus, Stop crying. you know, like <laughs> shut your mouth. You t- <laughs> no. <laughs> Shut your mouth, what are you talking to me? <laughs> uh, but it doesn't matter if you're 13 or 33, you know, like it doesn't matter. The thing is the commitment you're willing to sort of put into it. Yeah. That That's sort of going to make the difference. There's an awesome, uh, oh man, I wish I could remember what the, what the actual title of this documentary is called, but it's with Todd McFarlane, mm-hmm. uh, the creator of Dot Spawn. Spawn. <laughs> Uh, but it's I, I saw it on YouTube and it's like a four part uh, interview with him and he just sort of he's he's such an innovator and such an inspiration and because such... like that's what he he's done exactly what we've talked about. So he spent and he broke down his entire process mm-hmm. like I wanted to learn how to draw hands. So I drew hands for six months mm-hmm. every day, every day. Yeah, like kept drawing hands. I hated it. Mm hmm. Now I can draw hands. And then after that, I wanted to draw this. So mm-hmm. I did that. And he was like extremely fucking, uh, a- how do you say, anal retentant. Like, like I want to learn how to draw this muscle on this part of the arm. Yeah. So he did just that muscle on that part of the arm. For and kept, a longer time. And yeah. that's it. Like, and, and I also talked about like how he built his empire and everything that yeah, he struggled course. through. It's it's really good. Cool. Uh, fuck, I wish I could remember. But Dude, just who cares? Todd McFarlane. Yes. Uh, and then... If you can find pretty much every interview with him yeah. is the same. But he's so like direct and he's like mm. he's got an answer for everything and you can just I think feel... he does live streams as well. I follow him yeah, on he does, Facebook. Yeah, he does. He's very active with yeah. everything. Yeah. Um and he's always been a huge inspiration from uh, Spawn, you know, the first issue mm-hmm. that I bought. I wonder what my mom did with my first issue. No, you had the first uh, issue. I yeah. had uh, another one. Fuck, I had, yeah, I bought the... I actually, I'm, I'm thinking about doing the hard plastic uh, encasing mm-hmm. just to save it as Is much it as I Is it in can. good shape? Yeah, 
perfect shape. Sweet, dude. Or then as you perfect should, as it can be. Yeah, then you should do it. Because yeah. it's, it's still, the Swedish one. Yeah, that, unfortunately. But I'm hoping maybe it's going to have value. But it was not. But it, the, the Swedish one, they all got r- shredded. Burned, so, yeah. yeah. So there aren't that many. So I no, think they're I like think it's last time they like were like a worth thousand, like a thousand crowns. Yeah. yeah. Or that's what back then. Yeah. So I don't know Maybe if it's gone up now. It's like, oh, dude, it's like, <laughs> when did that come? No, but when did that come out? Yeah, that was in 96. Dude, 96. Mm-hmm. And I said the value back in when I worked at the comic book shop or something like that. I said that it something? was worth, no, then it was worth a thousand. So Damn. who knows what it's worth now, if it's worth more. Yeah, I'm saving it for my retirement. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, check it out Todd McFarlane mm-hmm. great interviews all around yeah and, and I think yeah. bef- before we let the subject go I'm going to repeat something that we've said yes do it you have to enjoy all of it you cannot just enjoy the end like your end goal no because that's just a moment and once you reach it you're pretty much like what happens with art is that that road just gets extended mm-hmm. so you think like oh this is the end goal what's now and you're like there's just more of this so you have to enjoy like the art of creating you don't have to enjoy everything that comes out of your hand and your brain no but you have to enjoy the act of doing yeah the process of the it the process mm-hmm. of it all that jazz you have to and no jizz this time yeah I'm no just gonna keep the jizz jizz no. jizz <laughs> <laughs> oh come on mouth <laughs> come <laughs> on mouth fucked it up again is there okay. something you're not telling me Elias are you coming out yeah I fucked it up on, and then I came on my mouth okay fuck it <laughs> that's gonna be used out of context <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is why you shouldn't be 13 listening to this. But maybe you don't know what jizz is yet, so Hopefully. we're good. So They know everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, enjoy all of it, okay? Yeah. Stop being a tard. If you don't feel good, do something about it. Write down, do stuff. Yeah. Depression, we can't cure that. No. You should get some professional help for yes. that, because I think there is a lot of help to get. There is. Uh, but if you... Sort of don't feel ready for that. Go to the gym, lift shit, lift yeah. some shit. Or is even good. just to <laughs> go out, like yeah. walk a bit. It helps. I don't um, know what helps depression, man. No, but I would no, say no, no, no. I'm not talking about depression, oh, okay. but just but, but just, just like if you don't feel, yeah, yeah, actively, yeah. Or if you are depressed, I mean, it it take it, a walk it probably to the narrowest place to help you. Yeah, I don't know. Like go, that is a tricky one. Go out into the woods, see some nature. That sounds. Smell it. <laughs> Yeah. It sounded so weird. Yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. yeah, we have, like, take yeah. care of yourself. That's that's pretty much it. Yeah. Eventually, all wounds heal. You will get better if you work on it. So, cool. Yeah. Man, we're too serious. Yeah. Way too serious. Okay. Depression is no joke. Clowns are. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know. <laughs> yeah, I was just going to say it. Uh, you... <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> okay. Cool. Yeah. So, guys, um, this concludes that part yes. and this episode, I guess. How how far along are we? One half. One half? One half. Yeah, I think that's, that's pretty right. much enough. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to, what are the, I was going to talk about something. I saw something. You saw something. The Ridiculous Six. I saw that one. It's no, I not... haven't seen. Oh, you know, I've seen The Ridiculous Six. That was Chris Pratt, right? No, no. Then I'm just making sure. That's Magnificent Seven. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but Ridiculous Six came oh, right with after Adam Sandler yeah, and exactly. the rest. Okay, yeah. It yeah, is I'm... ridiculous. It is. But it, it's a, uh, you know, if, if you don't have anything else to watch, then fuck Then it. don't watch it. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but there was something. Oh, man. I totally forgot it now. Yeah, watch it Wedding matter. Crashers, Big Lebowski. Mm, there you go. And there's another one that I like. <laughs> that I can't think of. Yeah. You should watch that one. <laughs> watch them all. Watch them all. Yeah. Gotta watch them all. No, I can't think of them. No. no. I've seen a lot of shit. Yeah. But this is super boring podcast. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> no, I was going to say uh, a good tip that I don't know if I have mentioned it before, but it's, uh, it's a Netflix series called Dirk Gently's Holistic Detective Agency. It's a mouthful to say. Dirk Gently. I've seen Dirk that. Dirk Gently. Yeah. It's uh, it stars Elijah Wood and uh, and that other guy, yeah, the weird detective guy. Uh, I really don't know any other sort of big names. But Dirk Gently isn't that the one where he comes into his apartment and yeah, yeah, it's weird. It's super weird. It's so extremely weird. But 
gets better? It really sort of helps you think in a new way because mm. the the whole thing, the whole premise of the show is like everything is connected. But it's such random oh, yeah, 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 shit. Because he follows him around and shit happens all the time. Exactly. And he's like, he's, yeah, he's yeah, a yeah. detective that solves cases that, Through, yeah, that yeah, aren't yeah. cases. Yeah, yeah exactly. So he's he like, just follows yeah, him around. Yeah, he just walks and then something happens. It's like, oh, so that's the case. Yeah. So I guess we're solving this now. Maybe. Like, yeah, it's, yeah, it's exactly. so weird. Yeah, you yeah, can't yeah. explain it in no, a good I way. Know, I know, I know. I've seen like the first two, I think, yeah. or something like it's, that. Uh, the second season came out uh, a couple of months ago. But yeah, it's it's a great tip if uh, if you feel like you want to see something really different. Uh, okay, yeah. Robert recommends it. Yes. <laughs> I don't remember why I stopped. But it, it is sort of like if you're not into it, I think it's easy to stop I and was then just like, hard I just to get forgot about it. Uh, I watched it because Nerdit said that it was awesome. Okay. Yeah. No, there's or a character in in the show that's called Bart. And she is the coolest character in all the shows that I've ever seen. Like she's Who's the that? most. Is she she's in the, the first two? The crazy. She's a crazy bum lady almost. She looks. I don't remember. Insane her. and dirty. Should we watch it? She is. Uh, I'm gonna spoil it a little bit, but it's not a spoiler. Her her thing is she's an assassin. I don't remember that. But yeah. she's a holistic assassin as well. Oh shit! So okay. she just kills everybody. <laughs> Like literally, and oh, she yeah, can't. That sounds familiar. She yeah, can't be killed, does. and like if you clo- like if you lock her in um, in prison, automatically the door is just malfunctioning every like when she touches it, so she can get out. <laughs> nothing can kill her. Nothing can keep her locked in. She does whatever the fuck she wants. She just and totally that's just one on of many many characters oh, in the okay, show. Yeah, yeah, well then I'll give it a chance. She she just makes work. it all worth it. She's amazing. And if you're sort of too dumb in the head. You should just watch uh, Brooklyn Nine Nine. Oh yeah, that yeah. we always refer to. Yeah. Like it's funny uh, as fuck. Still, like it's. I'm still working on season four now, dude. Yeah. I even have people here at work that sort of, like, I would never sort of see them enjoying that show. That enjoy that show, okay. like, because I was like, talking about it, not? and they were like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. like Brooklyn Nine Nine. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so. It is a great show. Like it's so like you don't really need to invest anything no. like mentally. If or you're if tired. anything, just watch the first episode and see the Malipnos. The Malipnos, yeah, <laughs> so the good, <laughs> still so good. Yeah, he took the photo. <laughs> <laughs> no. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, uh, yeah. So that that was uh, my. It wasn't a retro. It was just a Rob's tip, I guess. Uh, I've seen a lot of like new anime stuff. Some I've uh, seen through and yeah, through. Yeah, you talked about one last uh, week. Yeah, the uh, Gant Gun Gant Gant Zero. Gant Gant Zero. It's a and that one's a movie. That's also an anime. I haven't that's seen the was, anime. Yeah. And then I see there was a new. I see. I see. Then I see. <laughs> what happened to you, man? <laughs> man, you used I'm to know s- this language, dude. I am so tired. Like, dude, same here. Like I am tw- just twenty four seven working now. Like. Mm-hmm. Ugh, ugh. Um, no, but there's a new Netflix anime show that was out, and I told you about it last time, and I started watching it, and it's Which like, one? it's it's the one that was a mix. It's called uh, B, uh, the beginning. Oh, should be the beginning. Yeah, yeah. shit, I totally yeah. forgot about that. Uh, and it's like it's a mix between uh, a murder mystery show, like a detective yeah, type yeah, yeah. show, with uh, full out anime crazy shit. Um, Like, in retrospect, after watching it and letting it settle in, I liked it. I did. And I think I'm going to rewatch it just to sort of get it fresh. get some more stuff in, yeah. Uh, So, uh, yeah. If you're out of stuff to watch and you like anime, then check it out. Be the beginning. And and it's not B-E, it's just the... B, yeah, yeah, letter. Exactly. Uh, And... um, yeah, no, I have nothing else. That was it. <laughs> yeah, I have nothing, like, at all. Like, I was going to play video games this weekend. I fell asleep. I did manage to get some Uncharted 4 multiplayer online with my wife's little brother. Uh, so. What's that? Little brother. <laughs> He's just little brother. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. uh, I've known him since he was, like, uh, small. Like, really small. Uh, so I think he was, like, five or something when I met him. Oh, shit. Or is he? Like, okay, I've been with Maria for 10 years. He's 16. He was six-ish. Damn. So, yeah, he he was 16 back That's when I met him. No, but now. I mean, now he's mm. now. He's 16. Mm-hmm. 10 years ago. Yeah, he was six. That's crazy. Uh, 
So he's a little brother to mm-hmm. me as well. And we just sat up and played video games online. Like he slept over and the kids were all sleeping and wife was sleeping and we played video games till I think we played at like two o'clock. Nice. Two AM. So yeah. It was dead the day after. <laughs> he stayed up to four. Of course he did. Youngsters. And then the kids woke him up. Ah motherfucker. He was so tired. <laughs> <laughs> they woke us up at seven. I, I got like five hours in he got less <laughs> uh, so yeah nice. it was great I haven't played online for a while yeah uh, and also uh, I mean obviously you're not you people out there aren't getting a lot of uh, the Australia info now like we're not mm-hmm. really talking that much about it a lot has happened and I'm trying to release my uh, vlogs vlogs so if you want to know more about that you can check them out it's uh, they're called Rob's Road to Australia but it looks like Jesus Road to Australia <laughs> that's exactly what it looks like yes <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I am doing uh, small video updates. Uh, I'm finally getting them down to, to like was... seven minutes <laughs> instead of twenty seven minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, super long. So the, yeah, the latest one that I published was uh, this Sunday, and it's episode three, and it's uh, me talking about sort of money, pretty much. Mula, mula, and uh, where I'm at, and also there's another one coming out this week, and a lot of shit has happened. A lot. So, mm-hmm. check that out. How many do you have out? Uh, it's uh, number four is coming out this week. Damn, so Yeah, man. Uh, but then, I think, like, after this one, maybe I'm just going to do two more about getting down oh, there okay. because that's how far along I am. And then you should do one on the road. On the road. Yeah. On the road again. No. I, uh, I'm going to try to keep them up during... Uh, the whole education as well. Mm-hmm. So you, I'm going to talk so about where, the where, stuff that I'm doing. Where's the one for Sketchbook Heroes that you were supposed to have? Uh, well, I didn't get the, the clip. The oh, you did get it. No, I, I sent didn't. it to you. No, no. Yes, you no, did. No, I didn't yes, download did. it. Oh, you didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? How long ago? Like, like 10 months? A year, year ago. Like, yeah, year ago. <laughs> Probably. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I don't even remember what it was. Nah, oh, yeah. We were drawing shit like on the live stream. Oh, shit. That thing. Yeah, dude. Come on. Dude. I don't even know where, if I still have it. Like, where did I send it? What, what could I have done with that? I don't there know. There was nothing to do with it. Of course you could have. No. Yes. Obviously, yeah, I could like import GIFs into it and make it fun. <laughs> Spl- splice it with stuff. <laughs> what are you talking Sound about? Sound effects. We did awesome stuff. I, I, I can make. I can make people clap, clap. <laughs> U- using iMovie. It's awesome. <laughs> I get clapping noises, also laughing noises. So sad. <laughs> oh, fucking iMovie is the shit, man. It's so easy to use, and it's yeah, yeah. And you can make, great, yeah. You can actually make it look pretty good. If you have good no, dude, yeah, camera definitely. equipment, yeah. you're fucking safe. I'm only yeah, yeah, yeah. shooting it with my... Um, um, what the fuck is it called? iMac. Yeah. I'm just using the, the camera on the fucking screen to mm. film everything. And I think it still looks okay. Like, it I works. haven't paid attention to the video quality. No. <laughs> there, just... there is no video quality. It's only 728. Mm, okay, okay, okay. So it's not... Well, does it it's have not, to be more of a vlog though? No. Definitely not. Uh, you should get some soft boxes. I should. Yes. That sounds like some stupid investment, but yeah. And I'm I do, sure. I do shout out to Sketchbook Heroes a lot. Just cool. so you know, those guys would appreciate it. You guys should also shout out to Sketchbook <laughs> yes, Heroes. Yes, you should. And remember, tell your grandmas and every other relative that you have. <laughs> exactly. And yes. I, the, my words are sort of starting to get like into <laughs> running out of tape Winding here down. <laughs> wow this is I think this this end of this podcast is the worst podcast we've done in ages we, we say that about every episode I know but this one is really, yeah. really number 60 that's where it's at that's, yeah, that's, that's when we're gonna nail spot. it yeah. oh yeah the the, the 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 episode where ke- where the show gets canceled by our, ourselves like <laughs> pull the cut the cord pretty much oh man yeah guys okay. no. thank you for listening I'm dead tired I'm dead tired he's dead tired There's, we're all dead tired yeah, everyone's dead tired especially you guys after listening to this to shit. this shit yeah <laughs> so sleep tight everybody yeah and, and don't let the baby but but it's bite exactly what he said. Yes, up, up, and, and skip, skip bites. Skip, skip, yeah. <laughs> skip lips. Skip lips. <laughs>
Skaflap. <laughs> There's no douche in sketchbook heroes. I'm so tired. We're, it's insane. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like death. <laughs> like while you were talking, I, I was like, why is it done yet? I'm usually the one who drags on. What is he doing? Why it's is like, he? Stop talking now. <laughs> we need to go home. Yeah. Why are we still talking? God damn it. Let's fucking push, push the button uh, and push the, the push the button. Push the button. Push the goddamn button. Sketchbook <laughs> 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 out. 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 Out.